One of the most important parts of making your hose assembly is identifying the length. What we need to do is identify exactly how long the hose assembly is. First, you wanna start off by putting your hose end on. As you look at your hose end, you're going to see that there are some dashes around the outside of the hose end. This serves two purposes. Number one, it kind of tells you where you want to crimp the hose when you're crimping the end on, but it also gives you a gauge of how far up the hose is going to go inside the hose assembly. And we use that as a measuring point when putting the hose end on. As you'll see, you're going to lay your hose end on the outside of the hose and I've already made a dash on the hose for you to show you where the end of the hose is really going to go. So you're going to slide your hose end on till you hit that mark. Now you know you've got your hose end on all the way. We're going to do the same thing on the other side. As you'll see, I've already made a mark for you, kind of identifying how far it's going to go on. Then you're going to slide that hose end on. Once your hose ends are on and you've covered up your marks, you know that your hose ends are on the hose all the way. The next thing you're going to do is you're going to measure the hose from the end to the end. We don't care how much hose itself is exposed. We're looking from the end to the end. You're going to lay this down on your tape measure and then you're going to lay it flat and you're going to see that this hose assembly measures just over 22 and a half, almost 22 and three quarter inches long. Again, once you crimp the hose, you are going to have some stretch. So as long as you're within a quarter of an inch, you're going to be perfect. And that's how you measure the perfect hose assembly.